all right my people welcome back to critics news with more update on as you take the go in case you have not followed us on our social media handles we are on instagram twitter and on facebook bringing you back to back update on waiting the happen now as you can see here they say that the unknown government has visited um some communities in a bony state and um with what we have gathered um when the incident happened our forming committee uh went there to restore normalcy but um with what we saw i think uh, that some of these uh, unknown government are politically motivated and they say it's a crisis in that area i don't know um this is a uh, dave omar his uh, question and his community uh, i think he is in the best position to give us the latest update and i'm going to tell you more about it in a jiffy here they say that um this fulani his men look at it here Five feared dead, others maimed as criminal Fulani hesmen attack Edo community. On the Siam, I got uh, this country, eh? it's Fulani hesmen. You see, bandit Abi terrorists killed their Mietia La in Abuja, and they are in the east, they are in the southeast, and the south south, uh, committing all sorts of atrocities. I <laughs> got. Uh, a fume is a fume crisis. Many killed, houses burnt as unknown men invade a bony community. You don't read for that side. I don't know what human beings are looking for. Houses where you go, land where no be your own, you the drag them. I don't know where these things are taking us to. And he's some here <laughs> have come out to speak that this country must remain where no, that we go nowhere. That in fact, the eight count chart that was struck out by um, what do you call them uh, by the, the court that they shouldn't have struck them out, they should have left the eight count charges for Mazenam the Kano. All these together in one video. Wait in a minute now. Um, <clears throat> men of the underworld, other, otherwise known as unknown men, have reportedly attacked on her. On her Ogelode community in his local government area of Ebony State. Vanguard gathered that the assailant left many dead bodies on their trail as the community was yet to recover from the unfortunate incident. I say, wow, what is actually going on? Now, you know, when issues like this come up, or these unknown government, mind you that politicians will venture into it. To use it to tarnish the image of others. Now, according to the story, they say investigations revealed that the affected community is said to be a neighboring community to a few in our Hupu local government area, which has been involved in intra communal crisis. The crisis in a few, which is in between a few and a za a few, has claimed many lives and led to many a few people taking refuge in Oha Ogelo the community and other locations in the state. Very sad indeed. I don't know what you people are chasing in this Ebony state. Why are you people killing yourselves over land? Contacted the police spokesperson in the state, Lovett Todd has said she was not aware of the incident. However, a video of the said incident circulating online showed that at least two persons were killed. In the video, a victim was burnt to death beside a building which was still on fire. Another dead victim, a woman, could be seen in the video with machete cut wound all over her body. I don't understand, my God. However, unconfirmed reports said at least four persons were killed as over five houses were burnt by the unknown attackers. Meanwhile, a statement credited to the chairman of Unhunku local government area, Clement Order, condemned the attack. The statement read, Unhunku local government council has received with concern reports of unfortunate incident at Onhaogelo the village. In Ishike community, the council condemned the incident in strong terms and reassures all that no stones will be left unturned to unravel the true circumstances that led to such avoidable loss of lives and properties. 
Council has initiated a spirited and discreet investigation to unveil the perpetrators of the act and ensure that justice is served. Our heartfelt sympathies goes to all those affected families and our beloved brothers from Oha Ogelo, the village. Council reaffirms that both Ishiki and Efim communities have lived in peace as brothers from time immemorial, and this peace and this peace must not be tampered with. The government of Ebony State, under our peace-loving governor, has worked assiduously to restore peace in the entire Ebony State, and all hands must be on deck to achieve the task of a peaceful Ebony State, where love and unity reign supreme. Once again, all parties are assured that justice must be done as a deterrence and guarantee against future reoccurrence, others said. On the same. So this, if you look at this statement now, when I was reading the uh, comment from this uh, particular post, you see, um, somebody wrote here, he said, Dave Umar, well done. You released the Ufium bandit and machineries just a few days ago, and they have unleashed terror, not only against Isa Ifium, but also extended it to Izzy. You are doing well. Continue killing Izzy and Eza people. So this is a, a, a very serious issue um, that we are having here, this communal crisis. And when you look at it, you realize that this one is kind of um, government fabricated. That some of these bandits, you know, when a Bubago came, okay, where is a Bubago now? You know, go a, a fight for uh, against this uh, nonsense. These killings going on. But they say it's a non government now. These are political talks rampaging as a non government. So most of these incidents you are seeing are being caused by political talks on unleashed in different states and communities that are causing mayhem. And they banana, look at full and nina. They still they do their own. They know even I don't even know this country, Nigeria, guy. I don't know if you just would sleep and wake up the next day, you just go and thank God and say, ah, thank God I made it again. Because there's no guarantee that you are going to come out of it. <laughs> oh, Soluda has successfully chested the Aguilera and the Ihiala people out of Anambra to Ebony to cause problem. <laughs> this is another uh, comment. Uh, those gunmen are from Anambra. So, Ludo, come and carry your people. Engineer Dave Omar, he's not smiling now. <laughs> I beg, I don't feel love, Jerry. Let me play you this video so that you can hear all this uh, hungry fellow that uh, uh, the federal government has been using to attack people in Abuja. Listen to them. Today, we are here again. Some people will say, as usual, we will never get tired, we will never back down. Because the reason we are here is to, one, tell Nigerians that it's not time for them to sit back home and criticize the government uh, via the inciting statements of this gentleman, uh, of this notorious criminal called Nandi Kalu. <laughs> we have found ourselves where we are in the country today. Meanwhile, let me, talk, let me, let me condemn in totality the recent activity of banditry around, around, around the nation. We condemn in totality as a group and we are never in support of it, and we are calling on the security apparatus to do their best to nip this to the board. Then moving forward, we encourage the judiciary just like they have done today. We, we, we are comfortable with the count charges that they have dropped. Seven is enough to, to do any uh, prosecution and to bring justice to what we are faced with in this country. As of yesterday, you hear the, 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 the bad news from Anambra, where a local government were, was down via this Nandikalu people called IPOP. We, we must recognize as Nigerians that we are not against any individual. Mm. We are against those that have formed the agenda of separatists in this country. One of the disadvantages of introducing and accepting separatism in our country mm. is the fact that, just like my leader has said, we are over 2 million Nigerians in this, as we speak, over 2 million Nigerians. Cameroon will not take us, Ghana will not take us, no country will take us. We are, we are more than 200 million in this country at the moment. And so, therefore, it is our responsibility as youth in this country. I therefore call on everybody, the video, whiskey, all of them. They must condemn this thing, even in their music. All the artists, if you don't have country, you can't shut down Abuja the way they go and shut down transcomputing during Christmas and all, and all. They must rise up and speak against these hip hop people. They must rise up and speak against anything that is, that is limiting and bringing our country to the point we are today. The insurgency we are experiencing today is as a protest 
of inciting statement from people like Nandi Kanu, people like Sonde Boho, people like Ibu Sohore, people that will not let us have peace in this country. We are, we are not going to fight them, but we are going to always come out like this to encourage you, the, 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 the journalists, because some days ago, one of your members was killed in Nanambara, and another was killed in Nimo State by these IPOP people. We sympathize with you people. More reasons why you all must join hands with us in this war against those that have stashed our money in foreign countries. They turn it out small, small, just to destabilize the country. 2023 is by the corner. Nigerians are not going to even allow them to come through the back door in order to take power by force. And to bring in security more to, their, to our country. Wherever they are saving money to buy ammunition for the youth, I am here to let them know that it's, it's, a, it's a failure already because the youth have risen up. As you see, we are so much here today to say no to any man, any woman that have separatist agenda in our country to divide us. We say no to them. Some of them have their families abroad, we don't have. Some of them, their children are schooling abroad, we don't have. We say no to them, and in 2023, Nigerians are going to vote their conscience. They are going to vote who is going to pilot the affairs of this nation moving forward. Thank you, and God bless you. We are here. Um for the trial of Onion Dumas and Nande Kano, the Prince of Biafra, um, we came in solidarity to this matter all the way from um, United States of Biafra. Um, we are Biafrans. Hmm. We are not asking for war. We are not asking for any problem. Only thing we are asking for is freedom of our people. Because they say you cannot beat a child and ask the same child not to cry. Our people have been suffering. Our, our place are under siege. Our towns are under heavy, um, miniatur they miniaturize our, our places, so we are not free. Even the country is not giving us an enabling a grant or government to harness our potential. They keep killing our youth. We are, we are agitating peacefully. What we are asking for is the sovereign state of Biafra. Nobody is asking for war. We ask for a referendum, for a referendum to be conducted. If my people vote that they want to remain in Nigeria, that is their decision. If they vote that they want to be on their own as Biafra, you grant it for them. Nobody is asking you for but they are doing it as if it's war. If you go to the east, you people are journalists, you can take a walk to the east. You will see what is going on. One pole to pole, you will see military checkpoints. And those checkpoints, they are not there to maintain a, a peace. They are kidnapping our people. They are adopting our people. Unnecessary arrest, shooting sporadically, burning down communities, burning down villages making uh, mothers uh, um, childless, making children orphan, uh, orphans. It's uncalled for. That is not what, what we are asking for. They make it look as if there is war. They brought war down to our place. Why we are not fighting any war? Look at the killing going on in the north. You will not see much military present. But the east that is peaceful, that is calm, you will see a lot of atrocity going on, being perpetrated by the same security agents that are supposed to protect us and property. It's unfair. Our people are no longer happy. What we want is freedom of Biafra. And um, lastly, let me tell you this. Um, we will resist every attempt within the ambit of law to any, any, any agenda or plan of secret trial of Mars and Kano will be resisted by Biafrans within the ambit of law. Because you accuse him openly, you must try him open. Okay? Anything that you want to do, to try him secretly will not work. And they should remember that canonic approach can never bring um, solution to problems, okay? Brute force, no matter how strongly applied, cannot stop the human desire for freedom. Our people are peaceful people, okay? They should not push us to the world. There's a limit you can push one, they will bounce back. IPOB, one family! IPOB, one family! that man spoke boldly with boldness he spoke gallantly. You know they, you know they look buary face. I see buary for for fence there. Where they, where they peep. This I no see you. Buari, na shame go. This fake buary. You think say they call him the original one. You see, and when did they peep from that place? See your brothers here, full of They went to Bini Edo State. That is their den now. 
they are killing people despite the they are vigilant to despite the police there what the police will tell you we are going to to, to investigate investigate full and his men that are killing people every day to something we all know when they keep quiet because Nabuari carried and con the country I never see anything. Hey, do people. Muna no rise up. Muna they the 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 the, the uh, uh, talk for social media. Muna no rise up uh, to the to the uh, occasion to face this uh, 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 terrorist. Muna they there the talk for social media when they can't carry on a house. May God not allow them. May they kill on. But we'll go another news and no fish out.